Okay, so this is our third and final Ticino set here. We tried the one that was maple flavored and the one that was chocolate flavored. I have to say maple was not my favorite. It was kind of like coffee. And I have my suspicions about this one. This is butterscotch flavored. It is Chaga Ashwagandha from Ticino. And its claim to fame is that it has prebiotics. So we already know that you get boiling water. And with these, you want to shake it before you open it. Oops. And then throw some on the ground, too. <laughs> That's also good. They're pre-shaken now. Not stirred. That's a James Bond reference. You may shake your own. She's at the independent stage. I've always really, been independent. Been since, this smells wonderful. I've been independent like since birth. Butterscotch pudding here, which I used to drink, but haven't in some time. And then after you brew it, you dunk it in there to make sure you get all the. Oh right, out. I forgot the spoons. For dunking, or because the uh, string will fall out. Exactly. They don't put the string in here in a way that binds it well, so it falls out. So tea chino is marketed as a coffee substitute, so it tends to be like coffee, but this one is more of a tea. Tea zane, of course. Herbal. Right. I'm back, and I got She's back. So we steep this for three to five minutes. And we dunk, and we can add creamer and sweetener per our preference. Oh no, we have not brought the creamer in here, my dear. I'll be back again. Per our preference. Which is to say mine. Should I? Mm -hmm. Sh should I bring kefir? You. You should not. <laughs> kefir is a yogurt-like substance that does not belong in your tea. This has carob pods, chicory root, ramon seed, dates, ashwagandha root, withania somnifera. 600 milligram. Indian sarsaparilla root. Mmm, might Ooh. taste like root beer. Sarsaparilla. Chaga extract, that's the mushroom, wild harvested. What on earth? You know, notice? Hang oh. on. I cannot see this writing because when you get old, you need contrast, and this is tan on brown. In on notice, Oblicus Conch and Mycelium blend 300 milligram and natural flavors. So the dark chocolate one was really good. Is that over your head here? And the uh, maple one wouldn't have been good for a coffee drinker. We have lots of coffee teas. Yes. We keep trying to think of a way to like coffee, but we don't. <laughs> but you might. Mine is so much darker than yours. Mine is That's already because red. because I dunked yours. Okay. See? Makes a difference Look. then. Mm. This smells fabulous. Use it a actually spoon. smells chocolatey now. Use a spoon. Did I get a chocolate one? No. Nope. Smells good. She wants me to use my spoon. Oh yeah, and squeeze it out a little bit because that's what the instructions say. Usually you don't do that with tea because you get the bitter. But since this is a tea zane. Phenols. There we go, but since it's a teasane, we'll do what they say. A teasane is anything that's made like tea but really isn't tea. The tag is still attached. I just take mine off. Good job, Teach. You know, you made this one stick. Okay. Nope. Well, no, not if you worry it. Okay, this is not as bitter as the turkey tail was. Hang on. And even though it's supposed to be butterscotch, it's giving me chocolate vibes. That's the carob in it, which is a chocolate substitute for people who can't have chocolate. If you added sugar and uh, a little bit of milk or cream, this would be a bar of chocolate. So we like this one? It tastes like cacao. 
Not a strong one though, just medium. Yes. Just add cream, it's good. Then it tastes like milk chocolate. So we just add a little bit of sugar. But that one I believe is actual sugar. No, it's milk fruit. Oh, it is? Yes. So actually, if it's monk fruit, then we probably bought it like be, last year. Yeah. We don't still buy, buy monk fruit, but not much. I don't do much with it. Oh, yes. Because fake sugars can also raise your blood sugar and give you the same inflammation. And xylitol and I do not agree with each other. Makes your tummy hurt. Mm -hmm. It'll do that. Sugar alcohols can irritate your belly. Okay, so this I like much better than the turkey tail, and I would say this one is a good one. <laughs> it's a go. Please don't edit that out. <laughs> you should do it. <laughs> Have some. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Maybe a little butterscotchy. Yeah. It's certainly not chocolatey once you add as much um, cream and sugar, but it has like a butterscotchy chocolate, like like pudding, like butterscotch candies with a thin chocolate coating, but far less sweet, which I prefer. And until we see you again, Make look sure down, make, look down in the links to get you some. Make sure to make time for a good book. <laughs>